Kim and Kyle from The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills have had some great sister moments but also their fair share of issues. On The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, having money means being able to afford designer labels, exotic vacations, expensive handbags, and lavish homes. But a hefty bank account doesn't buy happiness, which explains the cast members' ongoing conflict every single season. One of the most tumultuous relationships in RHOBH is the one between Kyle Richards and her sister and former co-star Kim Richards. For five seasons, the series chronicled Kim and Kyle's familial dysfunction. Most of their problem arose as a result of Kim's ongoing struggle with addiction. But in addition to their many arguments, Kim and Kyle also share a bond that can only exist between siblings. Here are five of Kim and Kyle's best sister moments, and five times they hated each other. Throughout season one, the tension between Kim and Kyle seems to be the result of sibling rivalry on steroids. But during a nasty altercation on the finale, Kyle outs her sister as an alcoholic. Kyle hints at there being deeper issues, and she appears to wait for the perfect opportunity to air Kim's dirty laundry to conjure up sympathy for herself. Each sister feels justified in her anger for the other, but the one thing is obvious. There is years' worth of bad blood between the two. When the ladies head to Paris for a group vacay, all eyes are on Kim, whose previous seasons of erratic behavior have the other women on edge. Kim can't quite catch a break since she's kind of all over the place on a good day, much less when she's jet-lied, heavily medicated, and in a foreign country. After Lisa Vanderpump accuses Kim of relapsing, Kyle comforts her sister. And by the trip's end, Kim is effusive about vocalizing her feelings of goodwill about the trip and the quality time with Kyle. Kyle, who feels her sister's behavior is a bit off, manages to get through the whole experience with a fairly upbeat attitude. Whenever Kim is under the influence, she's either incoherent or confrontational. And she's at her worst during a group trip to Hawaii to celebrate Kyle's husband's birthday. She's unapologetic about arriving 36 hours late. And she and her boyfriend continue to behave inconsiderately. This ruins the experience for Kyle who feels compelled to draw attention to her sister's bad behavior every chance she gets either because of hurt feelings, embarrassment, or vindictiveness. Kim's behavior speaks for itself since she can barely keep her eyes open or hold her head up. But Kyle is determined to try and force Kim to be accountable for her actions in front of all of their friends. After returning from a trip to Paris, where Kim's sobriety is called into question, Kyle sits down with her sister to express her concerns. Kim's explanation is a medication mix-up which Kyle reluctantly accepts. Kim assures Kyle that she understands that her previous behavior could have had the worst conceivable outcome, and she doesn't want to put herself in danger again. Kyle reveals how she fears for her sister's life, particularly during her televised relapse, and she cries when she recalls she became convinced a phone call confirming Kim's death was imminent. There's no judgment from Kyle, no embarrassment about Kim's behavior, no frustration, no anger. It's simply two sisters speaking openly about the emotional fallout of addiction. After three years of sobriety, Kim's behavior during season five begins to spiral out of control. Kim is aggressive, antagonistic, and out of sorts during a poker night with the other ladies. Tensions between Kim and Kyle run high, and Kim's new bestie, Brandy Glanville, only escalates the situation by inserting herself between the sisters. The more of a scene Kyle makes, the more aggravated and resentful Kim grows, leading to another ugly public scene and a Kyle meltdown. During season four, Kyle begins to lean into the fact that Kim is sober. The twosome can come together to share the joy and excitement surrounding Kim's daughter's high school graduation. Both sisters have regrets about their unconventional upbringings, which emphasized achieving fame over education. This is a singular bond the women share. It's also a time when Kyle appreciates how much Kim must be feeling the loss of their mother, who if she were alive would be so proud of her granddaughter on her big day. During season five, Brandy constantly calls Kyle out for not being there for Kim, who is dealing with an ailing ex and empty nest syndrome. 
After a nasty confrontation between the three women during a poker night triggered by Kim's erratic behavior, the threesome butt heads again at a party. What starts out as an apology from Kyle to Brandy devolves into Kyle scolding Brandy for trying to drive a wedge between herself and Kim. Kyle resents Brandy's intrusive behavior, but Kyle conveniently forgets how many times she's dragged the other women into her family drama. When Kim doesn't have Kyle's back, Kyle flips her sister off saying you. Kim's daughter Brooke's wedding marks the beginning of a downward trajectory for the women during season 5. But in the days leading up to the nuptials, and on the day itself, Kyle is supportive and excited and manages to focus only on the positive. The sisters recognize the importance of being present for one another during these milestones, especially since the passing of their mother. Kim's behavior is that of any other mother of the bride, and her usual loopiness takes a backseat to joy. Kyle does seem like the odd woman out when it comes to her relationship with Kim and eldest sister Kathy, but she's able to step out of the spotlight and not make the day about herself or any family drama. After a rough season five, things go from bad to worse between the Richard sisters during the reunion. After filming wrapped, Kim's dog bit Kyle's daughter. But it's the fact that Kyle chronicled her daughter's ordeal on Instagram that leads Kim to viciously attack Kyle, trying to make her look bad. Kim also insinuates there's more to the story that she'll divulge if Kyle doesn't back down. Kim shows zero remorse, and neither sister backs down. Admitting the future of their relationship is on shaky ground at best. This marks Kim's last season as a series regular. Truly lighthearted moments between Kim and Kyle are few and far between. But during season four, a trip to the nail salon is entertaining to watch. During Kim's bikini wax, the two exhibit a camaraderie that viewers would expect from loving sisters. They tease, they joke, and they laugh their way through an equal parts embarrassing and intimate procedure. All it takes is intimate parts and toys to lighten the mood between this two, according to Kyle. You just can't laugh like that with anybody than your sister.